All right, good morning everybody. My name is Callie and today I have a super fun painting activity for you all to follow along with. So with the theme of circus, we are doing cotton candy puppy paint. So today I will be showing you how to make the paint itself as well as how to create the cotton candy shape painting drawing. So to get started, I will just introduce everything you need for this project. Um, most of it you should be able to find at home, and if not, um, there are things that you can find very easily um, at the store. So the first thing you need to have is some sort of paper. I am using cardstock paper, but you can use any paper you would like. It is up to you. Anything works. I would suggest using a larger size paper as we will be covering the majority of it up. Um, as well, you will need a marker or a pen or a pencil, some sort of writing tool so you can draw on your paper. And then you will need the ingredients to make your paint. So to make the puffy paint, you will need some sort of shaving cream. Um, you do want the white like foaming shaving cream. You don't want the gel foaming shaving cream because that doesn't have the same ingredients as well as you want some sort of white liquid glue and to color you will want food dyed food coloring so that is how you make your paint um, with that I do suggest getting some containers to put your paint in depending on how many colors I just grabbed three today although I am only going to be making two colors and then you will need paint brushes to apply the paint to your paper but so we can jump right in. And the first thing that I will be doing is we will be making the paint first. So, um, as I said before, we want to mix equal parts of shaving cream and glue. Uh, personally, I am not going to be measuring it out super specifically as um, I don't really have anything to measure but I will show you guys what it needs to look like as well as what it needs to feel like when it is done. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna open up my glue like this. Hopefully. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I just opened up the top of my glue and I'm going to pour Um, a good amount in there. I can show you guys how much. Just covered up the bottom a good portion and then I'm going to shake this. And I'm going to guess about the same. So it is kind of just guessing while you do this. Um, there's really no specific way other than just testing it out. So I'm going to grab my one of my paintbrushes and we're just going to mix until we get the consistency we want. So when I looked up how to make this recipe for this, it says what it wants is you want it to be fluffy as well as you want stiff peaks so you want it to be able to stand up. Mine is still a little bit liquidy, so I am just going to add some more shaving cream. And if yours is too fluffy, you just want to add a little bit more glue. Okay, so I can show you what I mean by stiff peak. So as I'm mixing it together, what I keep doing is I keep pulling it up. And if it stays and it's not falling, that's what a stiff peak is. So this one is looking good. I'm just going to take a, another glass and we will mix the same. So again, I'm just going to kind of guess how much glue I need. I just kind of covered the bottom. And then now I know I need a little bit more 
shaving cream. So I added more than I did last time. Then I'm just going to take another paintbrush. I try to use the bigger size paintbrushes as they work easier. But anything you have at home works. So again, we'll just mix this up. Hopefully we can get that right consistency again. So as you can see, I'm just mixing it up. Okay, so as you can see, this one here also has that same consistency. We'll pull up this one again. This one is a little bit more liquidy. Put in a little bit more shaving cream. But there we go. Okay, so next what we're going to do is we will be adding our food coloring. Um, because we are doing cotton candy, I am going to do the traditional colors of cotton candy, which is pink and blue. So I'm going to be using red food coloring and blue food coloring, but you can use whatever colors you would like as well as you could mix colors. But these are what I will be using today. So in one of my containers, I will be adding a couple drops of blue. I'm going to start out by adding just two drops and I'm going to mix and then see if I like the color. If I want it a little bit darker, I will add more. But Okay, so two, two drops seem to do enough. You can see the color there. It just made a baby blue. But obviously, if you are going for a darker color, adding another one would be perfect. Um, because I don't want red and I do want pink, I'm going to start out by just adding one single drop. Mix that up, and if it isn't pink enough, I will add another. But food coloring goes a long way, so using too much does overdo it. So always start out with small amounts, and then you can go from there. But as you can see... It did make a light pink color just by that one drop, so we should be good. So now I have my pink and I have my blue. And again, it is up to you if you would like to make different colors or if you would like to make more than two, you for sure can do that. Um, I'm only doing two today. As I said before, I do want to create that traditional um, look of cotton candy, which is pink and blue. So next we will be creating our cotton candy design. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to rip out this paper. And we will be just tracing out a cotton candy design. So the top of the cotton candy is a big cloud shape. So I'm going to start out by doing that, and I will show you what that looks like. So all you want to do is kind of start at the top. So as you can see, on the majority of my paper, I just kind of made a cotton candy shape and then on the bottom all I'm gonna do is create the cone shape at the bottom that would hold the cotton candy but it is also up to you you can kind of fill this in how you would like it you could design the bottom of it I know often traditionally there is stripes on the container, the holder for your cotton candy, so I'll be adding that today. Um, you could always take different colored markers and add to it as well. Um, 
I'm just gonna add this to that design so I can show you kind of an example of what you could do. So I just colored in the bottom. Obviously that isn't needed, but from there we will just be taking our new paint that we created and we will just start adding it right on. So you could cut this out now. I would suggest putting your paint down first letting it sit for a couple hours, and then we can go back and cut it out later. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you that today as you do need to wait a good amount of time, but I will show you what it looks like when it's still on the paper. So from here, when you have your stiff peaks of paint, all you wanna do is start adding it to your paper. So I'm just going to kind of drop it around. You want it to keep and you want to be able to see that fluffiness of it. So first thing I'm going to do is I am just going to drop some larger dots of the paint around. So then I can go back and kind of make swirls and designs with it once I add in my blue. Um, you also don't have to strictly follow your design. If you end up wanting to make it bigger, you can. Or smaller I'm not quite gonna be following the lines but that's what's cool about this paint is that because it is made of that glue and shaving cream it is going to dry with the texture when you put it on your paper so that is why I am taking larger chunks of it, just so we can have it dry like that. But Okay, so as you can see, I'll lift this up and I'll show you um, the big dots of pink that I have put down on my paper. And then I will be going back with my blue. Okay. So as of right now, this is what it looks like. I left some spaces for blue, so now I'm gonna go in with my blue and do the same. So I'm just gonna take those bigger chunks of it. And kind of fill in all those white spaces. want to dot it around Another nice thing about this activity is because of the use of shaving cream, it smells really good. But so lastly, I'm just gonna finish up these white spaces that are left. Um, I might go back in with the pink just to kind of fill in some other spots that I see that could use some but again you can use whatever colors you would like just because I am using pink and blue doesn't mean you have to you can use whatever colors you would like
going to try to fill in all the outsides to try to cover my line, even though you can cut this out at the end. Okay, so I will show you what it looks like now. So I have just added that glue to it, and as you can see, it kind of makes this three-dimensional puffy paint. Um, I'm going to go back a little bit more with my pink in some spots that I think could use some thickening up. Go back in with some blue. All right, so now I will show you when you're at this stage of your painting, you can either choose to leave it and it creates this kind of three dimensional cotton candy look otherwise you can go back in I'm just gonna take a different paintbrush here and you can kind of swirl around your paints together and kind of give it your own design so that is what I'm gonna do here and then I will show you the outcome of that So this kind of, it doesn't merge the colors together so it won't create a purple, but what it will do is it swirls them together and gives it a kind of more natural look when you think of what cotton candy would look like. So I'm just kind of going around in a circular motion around all parts of this. All right, but so now I went around. I will show you what it looks like after I swirl. But it creates this really pretty pattern. And that is all. So this does take a few hours to dry, as I said before. Um, so what you want to do is you do want to leave it in a cooler environment. So I would leave it probably in an air-conditioned room if you have it, otherwise maybe in front of a fan. Um, and after two or three hours, I would suggest just going back and lightly touching it. So as you can see now, when I lightly touch mine, I can clearly bring up some paint, which isn't what you want, as you want it to be able to dry. So when you do go back and you do Kind of lightly tap on your paint after a few hours it should be dry if it is not i would suggest leaving it a little bit longer um if you do want to be extra safe you could just leave it for 24 and i almost guarantee that it will probably dry within 24 just depending on how thick your paint is um and then if you would like after that you can go around and you can cut around your shape that way it creates that cotton candy shape or you can just leave it on your paper, but it is up to you. Um, as I said, you can go in, some, add some designs to the holder, but other than that, that is the activity today, which I had a lot of fun making it. It is super cool. Um, I will post pictures of my results in the comments, and if you do this with me, I would love to see your guys' creations as well. Um, it's super fun and super easy, and it just takes around five supplies to do it so i hope you guys had a great time watching me do this activity today and hopefully you could follow along but i will see you later this week and i hope you all had a great morning